I have to write a research paper and I don't know what to do. How many times have you ha heard students say that? Well, here's a product called Noodle Tools that is designed explicitly to take students through all the steps of writing a research paper from the thesis to the citations. Um, I want to demonstrate a little bit here about how it works. I have a project that I'm already working on but I just want to show you what happens when you create a new project. As you see right away you have a choice of what format you have to write your paper in so you choose that and you click it then you're going to scroll down and come up with a detailed description for what your research paper is about or what class it's about. Don't just name it research paper because if you're working on multiple research papers at the same time you won't be able to tell them apart and then you would hit create project. I'm going to take you uh, to my project so you can see what I'm working on right now and I'm working on one for a class and as I've gone along I've listed all my sources. This is a product that's gotten better and better uh, since it was first introduced. Um, it, ha it started with a bibliography or references. Now you, you can create note cards, you can start your paper in Google Documents, you can cluster and organize your note cards. It makes it so much easier to write a research paper than it did say 20 years ago. Alright, I'm going to take a look at my bibliography and here's the list of my sources and I created these by basically filling in the boxes by responding to prompts. So I'm going to just show you how it works. So let's say I am I want to cite a journal article. I click on journal, create the citation, and then I, I answer a series of questions. What kind of journal? Now you have a draw a, a a mouse over menu that comes up to help answer questions as you go along. Um, but I mean this is a journal. I'm using a journal. Alright, you click next. And as so often our research is these days it's online. Okay, so I'm going to click on nine. Next. Tell us more about it. Okay. I'm going to look at my choices. Well, it really is just a basic journal article, so I'm going to click Next. This is where you start to fill out all the information to generate your citation. All right. So as you can see, here's where you fill in the information. And if you're not sure about what you should type in and if it should be capitalized or not, you can click on the hyperlinks here and it will give you help. So here is where you put the name of the journal, the title of the article, the names. When you type in names you have to add, uh, click the add button to get them to appear and you have the option for removing names, page numbers, and all the other information that you need to do this. And when you get to the bottom um, you can write an annotation if that's required. Typically for high school projects that's not required and often not for some college projects. You have the spell check, uh, check for errors, and then it will automatically generate the citation for you. Um, so let me go back to my project again just to show you how easy this is to use. So here's my bibliography. When it comes time for me to print this, I'm going to hit the print button. But let me just show you too, um, since so many of my sources have been online, if I click on one of these it will take me back to my source in case I want to double check something. I've forgotten um, exactly what it was um, that the source said. So that's another great advantage. When it comes time to print my my bibliography. I'm going to export it to Word. And look at that. 
So long as you have put all the information in correctly and spelled everything correctly, you have a perfect reference sheet to include in your research paper. I can't think of anything that's easier than that, and it's certainly a lot better than plagiarizing. If you have a chance to use Noodle Tools, I hope you'll do it.